hey girl, hey. So to complete the elements, all we've got left to do is fire. So let's get started, shall we? Starting off with the fire element, you want to make sure that you prime your eye with something of a more orangey tone. So I went ahead and primed mine with Rubenesque Paint Pot. I'm using the 252 brush. If you wanted to, I mean, as you can see over here and probably in the beginning of the video, if you want to make this more of a smoky, fiery look, then I would still suggest using more of a orange or yellow base on your eyelid, but then either line your eyelid with a black coal eyeliner or go back with like maybe a black eye base in a cream form that'll really make it a lot deeper and we're gonna go underneath the eyes we're gonna actually go down a little bit further than normal normally I usually normally I usually I concentrate underneath my eyelashes predominantly but now I'm gonna bring it a little bit further down because as you can see over here we've got more of that orangey color and we want to make sure that it sticks, okay? Oh, and I elongated my eyebrow over here. It kind of helps out, so try that if you need more space to work with. Okay, so after a minute of talking about priming your eyes, let's start with the first color. I'm going to take the 217 brush, and this is called Two to Glow. It's a dual mineral eyeshadow. I don't know if MAC carries this. I know that they have a lot of the mineralized eyeshadows these days. I'm not sure if this is one of them, but any frosty orange would work great. I'm going with more of a medium tone. You see, this isn't the deepest orange ever. You could even use a gold, like gold mine or amber lights. And I'm just concentrating this right into the crease. Just making a soft, defined crease. <laughs> I need to grab a dictionary and start looking up some words because I probably sound very ignorant, many of you. Okay, the next color we're going to do is the highlight. Now, this is the same color that I used in a previous video and I didn't know the name of it. I'm pretty sure whoever or whomever said it was solar white, I think you're right. I could be wrong, you could use something like brulee or bisque or even rice paper if you want to get that frosty effect. Brulee and bisque aren't too frosty. But I'm going to say that this is solar white. I don't know where this came out, but I love it. It's that white gold color. And I'm using the same 217 brush. I'm kind of just mixing the colors and just placing that underneath the eyebrow, concentrating mainly underneath the arch. If you don't have a defined arch like that, then I would just concentrate from the middle point of your eyebrow to the outer corner. Okay, and you see how it, oh, okay, we fixed that right up. And then we're just going to go back a little bit more with that orangey color from the duo. Uh-oh, my cat's at the door. Please don't start scratching Moo. Alrighty, what did I do next? Mmm, I took, oh, my cat's inside, never mind. Let me let her out. And we're back. So the next step is to take an orange like Fire Spot from MAC or Julie's Revenge or Shock Tart, both from Facefront Cosmetics. I'm using the 224 brush and we're going to concentrate this on the outer corner here and bring it into the lighter orange that we used. And then I'm going to bring it on the inner corner and bring it up as well. You don't have to concentrate this color all over the lid. And I'm going to tell you why right now. Because we're going to take a deep brown such as Brune and a 213 brush. And Brune is actually what I use in my eyebrows, which you would have known if you've watched my eyebrow tutorial. And we're going to press this directly on the middle of our lid so that more of the color deposits right there. And then we're going to shimmy it to the outer corner and the inner corner. Treat this shimmying effect like you're making eyeliner kind of thick on your eyelid. And we're making almost like a teepee shape 
It's a very triangular shape. We're going to round it out here in a moment. But we want it to be a little bit thinner on the inner corner and the outer corner and gradually get thicker as we go up. So that's why we did it this way. Now you can use a black here. That's what I meant about making it a little bit more smoky, if you wish. It's totally up to you. Personal preference, artist choice. But I decided to do an orangey fire look that's a little bit more approachable. So if I'm in the mall, people won't want to automatically shoot me. They'll be like, oh, nice eyeshadows, bang, bang. Okay. So we got that. See the shape right there? Go back with a blending brush, like the 224. It's okay if it has product on it. And just blend it out softly. Then take a pencil eyeliner. I'm using Feline. It's a black coal. This is also limited from MAC. I'm sorry I'm using all limited stuff, but you can totally use any other eyeliner that's in a pencil form because we're just going to glide this right over our lash line. Try to get it as close to the lashes as you can. Sorry, I was like muffled there. And we're going to put it on the inner corner. Okay. Oh, I'll go ahead and do this. I'm putting it in the waterline as well. If you wear contacts and or are sensitive to wearing colors in your waterline, then skip that step. Uh-oh. We got a mess on our hands. Let's clean that right up. But this is actually a good time to mention that you can use a brush like I'm about to use or a Q-tip to do this part. What you're going to do is you're going to kind of blend slash smear that black so it's a little bit softer and I'm using the MAC 211 and I'm just going right on top of the eyeliner and blending it into the brown and the oranges and kind of bring it down so it coats your lashes as well it drives me crazy when you have eyeliner on and you can see where the line is between your upper lid and the lashes are. Ugh! Trust me, mantle. And then I'm going to pull any of the excess eyeliner down here as well. Again, you can use a brush like this, the 211, or you can use a Q-tip. Whichever makes it more convenient for you. Now, I kind of frip frapped right there. I made it a little bit thicker over there than I was supposed to, so we'll see how it works out. But I'm going to go back with that orange that I'm, I use up here in the crease. I'm using Fire Spot, but again, you can use Face Front, Julie Re Julie's Revenge, or Shock Tart. And I'm just going to press this on underneath. Oh, okay, I got rid of that black, okay. Oh, see? Magical. So this is why it's handy dandy to have a primer underneath here and then we're gonna take the 213 again and take a little bit of brune which was the brown that we used and press that right directly underneath your lashes and I'm just bringing it three-fourths of the way in <laughs> 